Join Peston for all today's developments from Westminster in 45 minutes, but first with flash photography from the outset. It's the latest ITV News. The Prime Minister's Brexit agreement passes its first big test. After a marathon five-hour meeting in Downing Street, the Cabinet decided to back her exit deal. I believe that what I owe to this country is to take decisions that are in the national interest. And I firmly believe, with my head and my heart, that this is a decision which is in the best interests of our entire United Kingdom. She admitted the discussions had been tough, but insisted the deal was the best that could be negotiated. In Brussels, the EU's chief negotiator said today was a decisive and crucial step in concluding the negotiations. The British government has taken today, this evening, its responsibility. And now uh, everybody on both sides have to take uh, their responsibility. But key opponents have already condemned the plan. We could not, as unionists, support a deal that broke up the United Kingdom. You are not delivering the Brexit people voted for. And today, you will lose the support of many Conservative MPs and millions of voters across the country. The big question tonight, can the Prime Minister persuade Parliament as well? Also on News at 10. The first indications of what caused the Leicester helicopter crash. It turned right when the pilot pressed left. And Charles at 70, celebrating his milestone birthday with 70 others who've also hit the big 7-0. This is ITV News at 10 with Nina Hussain. Good evening. Walkouts, resignations, the warnings had all been there. But when Theresa May walked out of Downing Street this evening, it was to announce that the Cabinet had backed her Brexit blueprint agreed by EU and UK negotiators. That doesn't mean there weren't divisions in Cabinet. Three hours of planned talks turned into well over five. Mrs May said she firmly believes with her head and her heart that the deal is in the best interests of the entire United Kingdom. But she acknowledged difficult days lay ahead. She's not wrong there. Even before the details emerged this evening, opponents in her own party and every other were lining up to say they would vote it down in Parliament. That will be the next and most risky step. Stage. It has taken her two and a half years to get.